So the next scenario we're going to show you is something that actually happened to me on Telegraph Road. Um, if you can imagine that black car up there is broken down. Okay. It's, you can't see it. You can't see it because this blue Fiesta is in your way. At the last minute, the blue Fiesta will swerve out of the way, and then you're left with trying to make some type of deci decision um, to avoid the imminent threat. And three, two, one. was broken down even before we saw it. You were not pressing the brake at all? Oh yes. You were? <laughs> the driver has full control. Okay, there's no auto brake. There's no auto brake. Okay, just an alert. That, uh, all, we're, all we're providing is um, the HMI, the, the heads up display and this, and our mm -hmm. trained professional driver, Bob, is uh, doing all the braking. Okay. Are, are you guys familiar with blind spot? Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. This, this scenario is going to show you blind spot <coughs> using 100% um, DSRC communication. There are no radars on this vehicle, lidars, it's 100% V2V communication. Imagine, if, so let me set the scenario for you. Imagine if you will, our blue car is really a motorcycle and you're traveling down the road and you want to shift lanes. That motorcycle is coming up on you at a very high rate of speed. If you were to put your blinker on, um, and proceed into that lane, hopefully you saw that vehicle. Mm -hmm. With this type of technology, when you put your blinker on and move into that lane, you'll get the same type of warnings that you've been hearing before. Okay. And three, two, one. And if you look at the screen, I'll explain to you what's happening. Once we detect the vehicle behind right, this box will be green. And then if someone's in our blind spot, and we put our blinker on and try to get there, it'll go red. And now he's in our blind spot, it's yellow, along with in the outside rearview mirror, we have the yellow light very similar to a um, traditional blind spot. Our next scenario is, um, I've been in this scenario too, um, imagine if you will, you're on a country road and you're behind a tractor and you've been behind that tractor for a really long time and you're, you want to get out behind that tractor as fast as possible. You put your blinker on, move into the other lane and don't see the vehicle coming in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. This is what we're called do not pass warning. As soon as you put your blinker on to go into the other lane, you'll get a warning that another vehicle is coming in the opposite direction. And three, two, one. Our last scenario I think is the most one of the most compelling scenarios. Um, this is an intersection scenario. So imagine if you will, you're pulling up to an intersection and your light is green and you're getting ready to go through the intersection. However, you can't see what's coming in the opposite direction because let's say a big semi truck is blocking your way. Huh. So as you try to go through that intersection, you can't see the other vehicle that's going to violate the intersection. For some reason, we don't know they're going to violate the intersection. With this type of technology, you will get a warning to take some type of ac action. Okay. You can see we picked up. The, we're picking the vehicle in and out, and it'll go through the same colors. The the green, yellow, red type of scenario. All right, I'm done. And three, two, one.